let's do it. So Hippo Arena is the last one, and this is just uh, this just looks like a better version of actual arena, which is cool. Yo, what's up, uh, Rebux? What's up, Mr. Capo? I'm so glad you stream in the morning and not at night. Yo, what's up? Glad you enjoy that. So in this version, um, standard res inside. <clears throat> But we only have five berries, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of the regular six. Not sure what happened there. And you have less wood, but that wood in the corners is blessed. That corner wood is just amazing. Can't get behind that for sure. So this is the last game of the show match, but if you have time, Nilly wants to do one more, so yeah. It's going to be up to us players if we want to play another one or if we want to just call it. There's $50 on the line, so you guys can take your guess whether I'm going to play it or not. Dude, I, I play games for Viper for free, bro. It's a dream. Like I'm begging people to queue up to the rank ladder. If you put $50 as well, dude, I'm there regardless of what's going on. But no, th these maps have, have genuinely been amazing, by the way. Um, I think the only one I didn't really like was the second one, the f first win for me with poles. Just because of that one little caveat I have with it. Uh, it being a little annoying to farm and the pathing kind of sucks around it. But otherwise, the maps have been great. What will I spend the extra $50 on? Um, probably food. <laughs> Isn't George's video with boss starting in one hour? Yeah, so we're hoping to do this one fast and then one more. Or if there's no time, we just play George's video with boss. So that's in both cases, we will be fine in terms of content. Play CBA? Dude, I love CBA. So I'm playing Viper later today in the finals. If we both get there, Jar Jars. But I like your prediction. I hope to get there. I have to get through Velez and then the winner of ACCM. Oh, I'm griefing. Oh my god, I forgot my double bit axe. Uh, and then the winner of uh, ACCM Vinchester. So I have, I have a tough road ahead. In Jordan's medieval brawl. How come Jordan is not playing in his medieval brawl? He's gonna cast it only? I expected to see him in the medieval because he, he was grinding the rank ladder for the spot, I thought. ASIM is on fire? ASIM is solid, man. He's doing well in T90 Titan League, eh? Um. Probably need a few more on that wood line. I always find the female villagers saying bra hilarious. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I never caught that. Is anyone else casting it? Jordan's me bra. You're probably gonna have like Mem, Nilly, maybe. Uh, maybe you'll have Dave come on. There's a lot of casters. Uh, it just depends on what they, whether they want to cast it or not. I try to up. I think I need to up 26 pop actually with Burgundians, or else it doesn't really work. Gonna need to make a few farmers. Because I have only uh, five, five berry bushes. I don't like that. Okay, last build, then I click up. Is it worth to get Horse Collar for Dark Age farm? Great question. The way I like to play Burgundians, I'm not even sure if it's correct. Hear me out. Maybe you guys can give some perspective, actually. You guys, the viewers. So the way I like to play Burgundians on Arena is I let my first rotation of farms be Ash Cheek farms. No Horse Collar farms. Then, I get Heavy Plow. So I make four or five farms that are terrible, and then all the other farms for the rest of the game are Heavy Plow farms. Instead of getting Horse Collar early and then sacrificing... Or not being able to get heavy plow in time. That's kind of my approach. 
I'm not sure if that's good, but that's the way I've been doing it. I have a feeling Heavy Plow is kind of overpriced in general. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Oh, oh. Oh no. That's risky. I'm not sure if I agree with Heavy Plow being overpriced. It is a really good upgrade. It's not as good as the Wood Upgrade in most cases, just because like... Like, Wood Upgrade is like pretty OP. It's 20%. And Wood is the most important resource usually in the early game. Okay, my build, I, I love my build, it's been pretty good. I was a bit late on double bit axe, but otherwise it was solid. Next two bills on, on wood, and I'm good to go. Yeah, bow saw, bow saw is 20%, and double bit axe is 20%. Those upgrades are too broken. You can't skip on wood upgrades, they're just so strong. Like, horse collar makes your farm last longer, like, okay, sure. Doesn't get me that excited. I don't like that there's less straggler trees, by the way. It makes things quite awkward. So now I'm going to pick up Bosaw first, then Heavy Plow, and then all my farms are going to be Giga Chat Heavy Plow farms. And I'm pretty happy with that. Imagine if Horse Caller improved farming speed. Yeah, I think it would be a much better upgrade in that case, but I kind of like how it is right now. Because it makes it like, okay, do you grab it early? Do you skip it? It's the most skippable upgrade though, in my opinion. Yeah, like farm upgrade is more of an investment. Bidex and Bosaw are like still an investment, but like a really quick payoff. I need I need my uh, heavy plow here. So that that's my my build. What do you guys think? Good build, bad build. Few farms are terrible, but the rest are gonna be heavy plow farms, as opposed to just horse collaring it right away. Like I said, I'm not 100% sold on this, but it's been working for me. Okay, made slightly too many houses, I believe. I don't like that we're fighting on my gate, bro. That's kind of sus. Yeah, thank you for leaving. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, what? What is this? Forward castle organ guns. With loom, eh? Hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Another castle, eh? This is pretty rough. I mean, the strategy is OP, right? I mean, I played really well on defense. I didn't do very much wrong. Thank you. 
I have nothing. <laughs> I think the strategy might be OP. Not sure though. One buff to Portuguese and this comes out, eh? Craziest thing about this is doing it for me because you already know I'm not getting any conversions. I guess I should go market blacksmith and have to monk rush instead of going for light cav. The stable and the, and the barrack is um, not something that would work against this. I had to open uh, instead of light cav or scouts, I should just open um, double monastery right away. That would be the best thing I could do, I think. But otherwise, that's just. Yeah, that's just too hard to stop, I think. I, I just don't like that they have 7 range. Uh, it makes it so hard to use the monks against them. And they also kill town centers. 
Yeah, I, I don't really have uh, an answer to that. Even if I go monks right away, I don't think monks is a good enough counter. Why not mix in mangonels? Uh, maybe mangonels can be okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think mangonels do enough. By the way, 